Breaking news out of Tokyo this hour. So exciting. Canada's women's soccer team has won gold in their showdown against Sweden, beating them in penalty kicks. The Canadians advanced after beating their arch-rival Americans to get to today. We know that the game was pushed back because of the heat of the afternoon. Now, the Swedes going into the game were the slight favorites after they won silver in Rio. Canada took bronze once again. Our breaking news, Canada has beaten Sweden to take the gold in women's soccer. Just an incredible accomplishment. We're going to take it out of Toronto to that moment. There's a watch party happening right now down by the water. People just freaking out, enjoying this moment. If you are just joining us, major breaking news out of Tokyo. Canada's women's soccer team has won gold, beating Sweden in penalty kicks. With me now is John Herdman, men's national team head coach and head coach for the women's national team from 2011 to 2018. John, oh my gosh, what a moment. Oh my God, well, what a... Oh. What a moment, man. What what a moment. It's just unbelievable for this group of women and this country and for everyone. It's just, oh, dear, for Bev and Maeve and everyone there, man. Oh, dear. We've, we've waited so long for this. Oh, dear. What a moment. What a moment for that woman, eh? Oh, oh I've got nothing. Oh, I know. I know. I know. I'm with you. We're oh. with you. Okay, what does it mean to them? Let's talk about the team first. What does this mean to them? This is life-defining. Oh, it's just, uh, it's just a massive step, a, a huge step. I, I was in that dressing room in 2016 when we, we lost to the, uh, to the Germans, and I knew what it meant when they, they couldn't get to that gold medal game. And, and to see them do it now, I mean, for Desiree, Christine, Steph, Sophie Schmidt, all of those women, they, they can retire now on top of the world. I mean, oh, it's brilliant. And then you see that generation of young kids, you know, the young ones coming through. You know, they've just set the bar at the highest level. Olympic champions um, are proud. Proud and, and that's it. The, the legacy cemented for these women. It's, it's done. Uh, someone's got to go and repeat that. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. What does it mean for you? Oh, nothing, nothing <laughs> for me. I mean, I mean, my time's done. I, you know, my mission was. But you've uh, got a history with them. Oh, look! At the end of the day, I did. I did my best with them, and and now to see Bev leading them, uh, I'm just proud. I mean, she, she's she's like a, she's like my little sister to see her out there doing it with with those people, oh my God, uh, yeah. Look, nothing to me, it's just, I'm happy to be able to watch that penalty shootout, kick every ball and make every save. It was, um, oh, what a night, what a morning. <gasps> what a morning. Oh, I, I, we gotta talk about Sweden um, because they were the favorite going in. <sighs> Look, I, I think what you've seen is two teams have just given everything. I mean, that Swedish team, you know, they, they had their moments, but this is that Canadian team. They're just resilient. There was no way they were going to let that happen again. You know, there, there was some real colossal performances there. And even when they had nothing left, they weren't going to let that ball cross the line. So, you know, my, my heart goes out to Sweden because they missed out last Olympics, but who cares? We, we've got the gold. <laughs> We're coming <laughs> home with a, with a medal, uh, with, a, with a gold medal. Oh, my God. Spoken. I just, yeah, look, go Christine, if, if you yeah, know. Yeah, let's talk about Christine. This woman, she's given her whole adult life for this team. And as I say, she's not going to retire as a millionaire. She's the greatest of all time. And, and this is the best way this country could have, have sent her off. Um, I don't know if she's finished yet. I doubt she is. But, you know, if, if there's one person you want to come back home with this medal, it's her. I'm uh, just so happy for her. Well, do, do, uh, you raise a good point. Do you think she is done? 
Oh, now's not the time, eh? Now's not the time. She, she can, uh, yeah, uh, she can just enjoy this moment and uh, get away on holiday. And, and and I'm sure she's going to be back if she's if she's done playing. I think she'll be back as a coach. I mean, or, or prime minister or whatever she wants to do in this country. <laughs> John, don't go anywhere. We've got Diana Matheson on the line. Diana, can you hear me? Diana, can you hear me? Yes. Great. We're, we're, we've got you on and John, John Herdman. Yeah. I think you know each other. 